resistance is great. Will. Strong. You know, Max, if you would just floss regularly, these long scaling appointments could be avoided. of solitude. If you are calling for Darla Guggenhig, please press 1 now. If you are calling for Sam and Max, freelance police, please press 2 now. It's for us! Max! Max! Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Holy jumping jack smelt in a rented hamster suit. We're on our way. How was you know who, Max? Our cantankerous manservant? No, the commissioner. He's all hepped up about some strange doings down at Bohunk Lagoon. Locals, naturalists, and even clods and kayaks are disappearing en masse. Oh my god, Sam! You said en masse! Ahem. Aren't you boys forgetting something? Your car is in need of a few minor repairs. Love that wrecking yard, Caper. Yeah, any loaners available? You have two choices. You can take the Vespa. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. I feel all crawly. Or you can take the boat. But you have to promise to be careful this time. Thanks, Gabe. <sighs> Amazing! We can use the sewer system to travel unhindered to our destination. It's a vastly underused avenue of transportation. And look, Sam, baby alligators. Well, they're buoyant and log-shaped, but far from alligators, Max. I don't feel so good. We're almost there, Max. And since country folk are limited to the honor system when it comes to waste disposal, I'm guessing there's no sewers where we're headed. Then this is gonna end badly for us. And soon! I just hate these moments. Let's hope this baby is equipped with ample crumple zones. <laughs> Here we are on picturesque Bohunk Lagoon. Almost makes me pine for the sewer. Something moved out there. Well, we're not gonna get to the bottom of any grisly goings-on sitting out here, little pal. You're right. Let us flee this place of evil! It won't start. That figures. Try jiggling the handle. Well, here we are in a stakeout, surrounded by all our favorite foods and tempting the unforgiving demons of fate. Bohunk. Population... Fairies. Curious. What could account for such a bizarre fluctuation in the populace? War? Famine? Rampant cannibalism? Cannibalism! I vote cannibalism! Don't be going out on the lagoon at night! I'm warning you! Look, Max, it's one of those colorful oldsters. A monster will get you. Eat your brains, he will. Just like all the others. It's already at the whole town. Turned them into zombies, I tell you. Only I remain to tell thee. Hark, the beast. He beckons. Run for it, boys. Heed my warning. The creature will take all the fight out of a man until he's no man at all. Make him as faint-hearted as a little bitty bunny rabbit he will. I'd call that a fairly sweeping generalization about bunny rabbits, wouldn't you, Max? If he wasn't such a likable old soul, I'd have to re-educate the tar out of him. Hey, the crinkly old soul survivor wasn't kidding. Look! Holy mackerel, Sam! These guys have gills! It's hideous! Who could have done this and why? And how do we get some? We've got to follow those zombies and get to the bottom of all this sci-fi hooliganism. Remember, Max, just walk like a bloodless, emotionless being and they'll never notice us. Will I be expected to prepare anyone's tax return? Hey, hang on a second. We don't have gills. It's a cartoon, Jarhead. We have remarkable lung capacity. I know, but I really want gills. And webbed feet, and hands, and segmented eyes. Can I have them, Sam? Please, can I? Hmm? I'm spoiling this boy. Where are we, Sam? In a high-tech command center of sorts. No doubt the work of some criminal mastermind who's seen too many James Bond flicks. I'll take that as a compliment. We meet again, freelance police. Well, if it isn't our slippery old friend and arch nemesis, Max Salmon. 
How exactly did he get that way, Sam? Some kind of boating mishap, I'm guessing. How often do you clean this water? What's this fake body made out of? Melmac? Your casual indifference cannot save you this time. You are now my prisoners. At long last, you shall pay for your part in causing my condition. Not that we have even the foggiest recollection of what you're talking about. But would it make it all better if we said, we're sorry? Come here, you. Give us a kiss. Stop it. Stop that. You longer. Hey! It's unfortunate that you will not live to see my plans come to fruition. Aw, oh, come on. Show us. We won't tell. Well, all right then. Behold, the bounty of my genius. He's a fancy talker. Sea chimps? The bounty of your genius adds up to sea chimps? I'm starting to like this guy. Not just any sea chimps. Look closer. He's right, Max. Look, these sea chimps actually look like the ones on the box. <laughs> and they're playing with a tiny beach ball. Our prayers, they've been answered. You are a great man. I mean, this. And that's only the beginning. Witness this. Genetically enhanced and ripe for the canning plant. I'll corner the market in sea chimp chowder, chimp steaks, breaded chimp nuggets. And the citizens of Bohunk are your zombie workforce. Fascinating, diabolique, but how? See for yourselves. Woo, he's a keeper. I hear the really big ones are up in Canada. This mutant musky is the keystone of my operation. It is he who acts as my hands, plucking hapless locals from their boats and performing the delicate surgery that transforms them into tireless drones. Sweet mother of all things good and plenty. He's plucked out their brains, Max. I guess that makes him a brain sturgeon. <laughs> Enough! The time has come for you to join those you came to save in a lifetime of servitude to Max Salmon. Muskie, remove brain, obey. Amazing. I had no idea my skull was threaded for easy access. Quick, press down on the medulla oblongata. Five bucks says he smells burnt toast. Come on, come on, this isn't brain surgery. Mama. Down from above. Spare ribs? Who's cooking spare ribs? Your claws give them to me. I see cheese and crackers. And that's the end of round two. Sam! Sam, is it you? I'll take Paul in to block, Peter. You fool! You've touched off his speech center. Speech center? I always thought Max had a cream center. Stop him! He's running amok! <laughs> Freeze, Musky! Drop the bunny or the mastermind gets it! Do as he says! I think he means it! Nice work, little buddy. Thanks to your adult shenanigans, I was able to collar this carp without gunfire or loss of lives. Don't mention it, Sam. May I be rewarded with the pleasure of tenderizing, er, I mean, Mirandizing our prisoner now? Okay, but do it in the back. These poor folks have seen enough atrocities for one day. No, no, no! We are much obliged to you, boys. Not only have you led these poor folks out of eternal bondage, but you stitched their brains back in and restored order to our sleepy town. Just doing our job, citizen. And don't you worry about Max Salmon. We're sending that felonious flounder up the river. He'll fry for this. Get it? Fish? Fry? <laughs> <laughs> it was another one for the books. Another gratifying kick in the pants of crime. And what of the mutant muskie, you ask? An innocent pawn duped into partaking in Max's sordid scheme? We're pleased to say that he has been given a fresh start by the people of Bohunk Lagoon. And allowed to start his life anew as a useful member of society. No flash photography! No flash photography! Such a beautiful spot. I almost hate to leave. Me too, Sam. But let's do before we start blubbering like newlyweds over its grandeur. You crack me up, little buddy. 